as Teresa was just saying, a sort of bizarre ending at the Academy Awards last night. A big mix-up on stage which led to the wrong movie being announced as Best Picture. There's a mistake. Moonlight, you guys won Best Picture. La La Land. Sort of an awkward moment, huh? <laughs> I'd say. I mean, my mom heard La La Land and then just shut the TV off. So when You're she right. woke up this morning, she had she no said, idea any what? of this happened. She's like, what I stayed happened? up, I saw it, but this happened? Yeah. Actor Warren Beatty and actress Faye Dunaway were on stage. They opened the envelope, which said La La Land. As you said, they all went on stage, dancing on stage. And then all of a sudden, they came up and said, whoa, whoa, whoa we, we have the wrong card. It was like a, a, like a play out of the Steve Harvey book, you know? He feels real good about himself He today. must, yeah. <laughs> he, he said, whoo, thank God that's past me. Wow. But, but anyway, but congratulations Moonlight to won. Yeah, I, I've yet to see it. I'm going to have to watch it this weekend. It's we'll on my to do list. Party. Well, let's all head on over to Teresa's house. Check it out. <laughs> there you go. And here are some of the other winners from last night. The lady of the evening was Emma Stone, who won an Oscar for Best Actress for La La Land. She looks incredibly beautiful there, huh? She does, yes. Glitz Stunning. and glam. Uh, Mahershala Ali became the first Muslim actor to win an Oscar. He took home an award for Best Supporting Actor in his role in Moonlight. And also Viola Davis uh, made history last night by becoming the first African-American woman to win an Oscar and Emmy and a Tony Award for acting. And she won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in her role in Fences, which is a very powerful and moving film. Yeah, she didn't even get into acting until she was 44. Isn't and that hard she, to believe? Incredible. I'm, I'm a lot of respect for her. Absolutely. And an incredible speech she gave, too. I don't know if you, if you uh, had yeah. a chance to see that but uh, worth uh, looking up this morning. Mm -hmm. Songwriters Justin Paul, Justin Hertz, and Benj Pisek uh, took home a statue for best song. The win was for City of Stars from La La Land. Now, ha have you seen La La Land? Did you see Yeah, and it was a great song. Makes you yeah. want to just get up and dance. It was, uh, it was fun. City of Stars? See, I, I thought that was sort of like a depressing song. They, they kept playing it throughout the whole movie. It was, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I don't know. Kinda, it was catchy. It yeah, okay, just, all right. I, I well, well, congrats to them regardless of the type <laughs> of song. Uh, quite an award to win. Uh, let's rewind a little bit on the awards to the shimmering stars on the red carpet. Here are just a few of the looks from last night. Teresa, what do we got here? Oh, this is Emma Stone. She's wearing a lot of gold, which matched her Oscar win later in the evening. Uh, hidden figure stars, uh, they are all there on the red carpet looking fantastic. I heard Halle Berry was looking good. There Th she there is. There she is, huh? Stunning there. Beautiful stuff. It's it's always interesting to see what the stars wear and sort of what the trends are. There's Scarlett Johansson. All right, they're saying she was the worst dressed of the what, evening. Worst Scarlett what, Johansson. Was it the hair or the dress? What, I what's think it the... was the dress. It was a little a little off for her little because unique? usually she's so stunning. And mm -hmm. it, I don't know if that worked last night. It's it's always hit or miss. And and it's funny like when you're watching E or one of these stations that right. has all the coverage. You know, you could be looking at something and say, oh, that's really beautiful. And the the Different the, opinions, the fashion right? police are all, oh, I don't like it. Kirsten so. Dunst looked great. She had a black strapless gown on, and the train just went down the red carpet. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then Chrissy Teigen, who I really love, looked fantastic. And there was a shot of her falling asleep on her husband during the show. Oh. Woman right after my own heart. <laughs> so, so Jimmy Kimmel, come on, step it up, Jimmy. No, he, he was really on point last night as the host. There were a few surprises, including candy falling from the sky, so the audience enjoyed some snacks during the show. Go ahead, close your eyes and wish. It's Hollywood. Little bags of red vines and junior mints will appear from the sky, raining down on you. Okay. For your delight. I love it. How fun is that? He, he said next year they might have to hand out the awards other. like that. That would be nice. <laughs> and next year he, he might do donuts, but it's cool because things like that happen here on CT Style all the time, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, look! Mm. Whoppers and Hershey bars! Mm. It's like Willy Wonka <laughs> just made a surprise visit. How nice. There wow. we go. It's the best surprise of the morning. Oh, and it's in my coffee. There are three, three Whoppers in my coffee, guys. <laughs> Cheers to you at extra home. extra better now. Mm, yummy, yummy. <laughs> Another funny moment last night with Kimmel uh, was when he pranked this group of people that were on the tour bus. This is so funny. They thought that they were uh, touring a museum. When they walked into the Oscars, in the front row, they were greeted by all the stars, and the tourists had no idea that they were going to end up on live TV. Like this couple, Gary and Vicky, who, in my opinion, really stole the show. Academy. Who's your favorite actor? That man right there. <laughs> Denzel? Denzel, would you be the best man at their wedding? I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kiss the bride. <laughs> is that a selfie stick going? <laughs> selfie stick was out the whole time. Uh, that so, so is funny. incredible. Wow. Can you imagine that, though, thinking you're on just like a regular bus tour and walking into the Oscars? I mean, that is a moment they will remember forever. What's, what are the chances? That's really cool. So, so funny. And, and speaking of movie surprises, uh, unrelated to the Oscars, this weekend, Grammy-winning rising star Chance the Rapper felt like giving back to his fans a little bit over the weekend. Yeah, Chance purchased all the tickets of the new film Get Out at a local theater in Chicago to give people a chance to go see it. He was really praising the uh, race 
conscious horror film that topped the box office this weekend. It looks really creepy and it's been getting rave reviews. And many fellow artists said they would sort of do the same thing and pay it forward and buy out all the tickets. That's nice. It would be cool if we could do that. I, I don't you want to buy tickets? Well, I can't afford it. Maybe we can buy everybody. <laughs> Whoppers or uh, all Sticky Style viewers? I don't, I don't know what we would buy. But uh, 